Hi everyone, my name is Robert and you're watching That's the Movie. So today I'll be reviewing The Book Thief. The Book Thief is um, about a little girl in World War II. I think her mother was Russian, communist, something like that. Well, yeah, either way, she has to go and live with a foster parent, with foster parents pretty much, uh, both the German, and she sort of, she it's sort of her life between a, one certain point and another which I won't spoil because it will be at the end of the movie. And it probably takes about three years, it's three years, I think two or three years around there. And it's just her life after her mom leaving, having to give her away, not being able to stay with her mom. She's already around 12 or something like that when her mom has to let her go, has, she has to leave. And it was very, I guess, it, I really like this movie. It's very heartwarming, I, I enjoyed it. Um, there was something kind of off by it, I'll get to it later. And anyways, it's sort of just her life throughout that time. And she didn't know how to read. She never learned how to read. And then her foster parent, her, one of the one who was her father, was played by Jeffrey Rush, who by the way, can probably take the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor because he was just amazing, fantastic in this movie. Or at least a nomination because he was just really, really good. And. He is the father, and she, he sort of teaches her how to read. He's, he helps her how to read, he reads to her, and then teaches her. And she starts, much later in the movie, stealing books. She starts, she steals books and she likes reading them. So she starts reading a lot of books, and this was at the time where the Nazis were burning books in the streets. So, it's just her life, her reading books, and it was very... It was actually pretty funny too, it was really funny, it was very heartwarming moving, I enjoyed it. I recommend it. I, sh I really recommend going going to see it. Let me just get started with the uh, directing. So directing was hmm, not bad. It was really good at first. I really enjoyed it at the beginning, especially the aerial shot. It was kind of hard to tell between CG if it was CG or not, but it was just really good. I really enjoyed the aerial shot and. Uh, just the opening. It's just the opening, and this movie is actually narrated by death. I kid you not, like, the narrator is death, and it was really good. First, at the beginning, I didn't really understand that he was death, but then, at first, I'm like, is he God or something? But then, a little bit later, I'm like, oh, I get it now. He was death. And I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy this movie. I liked it, and I liked the whole narration that death was narrating this, and it was, it added an interesting, you know, twist to it. It was actually written, it was actually based on a book, so it was not completely original. Still, the movie was good. I enjoyed it. I don't, I don't really think that, I really hope it does, but probably not Oscar worthy. I don't know about the Oscars. Hopefully it does. I mean, Jeffrey Rush did a really great job and so did the little girl. Oh God, how do you pronounce her name? It's Sophie. Either way, she did a really good job. She has this sort of, um, she has like a perfect puppy dog eyes. It's amazing. That she, she has like this little face and her eyes are just like the saddest things I've ever seen in the world. And for her age, she is spectacular. Okay, she's a spectacular actress and she did a fantastic job. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but something happens at the end, but I didn't feel really sad about it. Um, it could have been, it felt kind of forced, but I kind of left the theater and I felt like something was wrong with that ending. Like it was still, like the whole idea of what they were trying to get, like how the ending was good, is, was good. Like it was a good idea, but there was something, I don't know if it was in the acting, or one particular character, I'm not entirely sure if it was, not gonna spoil it, but if you guys will see this, you'll see what I'm talking about. Good movie, the writing was great, it was, uh, I feel like it was, a, it was adapted by Marcus something, Zuko or something, complicated last names, all these people, Jesus Christ. It was a complicated last night. But either way, I liked the I liked the movie. I enjoyed it. I recommend to go see it. The ending again, it had me kind of like, huh? but I don't know if it'll be the same for you guys. I asked some other people when I came out the theater. They kind of they were all right. They were like, oh, it's fine. But I thought the ending kind of was like something weird about it. I don't know. But. Go see this movie if you want. I enjoyed it. I think it's very good, but if you're not really one to watch about World War II movies and you think it's going to be very, very sad, it might be. And people are going to say, yeah, World War II movies, we have enough of them. Of course we do, but it's such a great topic. 
It really is. And I can never get enough of them. So yeah, go see it, go check this movie out. Anyways, about to wrap this up, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram at the real Robert AH, as well as check out the SashaMarinaShow.com under topics uh, that's the movie. And every Monday I have this, uh, if you guys haven't seen the previous videos, but every Monday I have this sort of podcast type thing, it's like a little radio show where you guys can listen in, you can even call in and give your opinion over something. And it's uh, me reporting on news. I'm just reporting on the movie news, and I have a discussion with, at the same time, with my um, with Sasha, my older sister. We talk about it, and you know, it's it's really good. It's a really fun time. I really enjoy it. Sometimes I talk about TV show news if it's really worth mentioning, as well as video game news. So check it out. It was really, it's really fun, and it's on um, every Monday, 12 like Pacific Standard Time, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You'll, you guys can check it out. We're on iTunes. <laughs> so you guys can check it out on iTunes if you want. Just go to the SashaMunaShow.com and it'll, you'll find everything there. It's really cool. But anyways, um, kind of wraps this up, so that's the movie. They would have, they would have like huge sort of get-togethers and everyone would burn books. They'd get all the books and burn them. Unless they were, and like any, all everyone who wasn't part of the Nazi, you know, regiment would have to burn their books. His fault, because at first I kind of like, oh, it's, it's pretty good, sort of, and then little by little, as the finale started and like from finishing, I was kind of like, ooh, yeah, it made me kind of like cringe. I don't know why. It was kind of odd. There was something odd about that ending. There was something weird about it. But either way, I might be. If it's not, if it, if you didn't see the, if you didn't leave, if you didn't notice like the weird thing that I did at the end of the movie, then you'll then you'll leave the theater being like, <laughs> and like crying and everything. But it was it was good, really good movie.